talk about a kingdom preneur. Right now, we're going to talk about how to the power of being a breakthrough preneur. As a matter of fact, how many of you would like to take your entrepreneur endeavor, your business to a whole nother level? Uh, raise your hand or in the chat, say me. Come on, raise your hand. As a matter of fact, D, yeah, there you go. Okay, raise here, you go. Right, right. How many of you, if I can give you, get this now, a simple principle with a few steps that would ensure that you can break through to a whole nother level in your business? How many of you would love to learn some simple but powerful principles like that? Again, in the chat, say me. I raise your hand, do something. Give me some something, right? Come on, come on. And matter of fact, Michael, if you want to, you can unmute and speak for them, uh, as a matter of fact. So I don't know. Uh, would anybody like to, to, to know that and like to have that? Yes, yes, or of course, yes. All righty. So I'm going to do it my breakthrough style. Now, I'm not going to break anything today, but Michael, when, when, when he was there, I laid on my bed of nails and I put 150 pounds of bricks in my stomach. And then uh, James Penny took that 18 pound sledgehammer. And, um, and by the way, that's the first time my wife has ever, today's our 15th anniversary. And that time was the first time she's ever watched it live. Every time I've done that, she closes her eyes. I'm like, baby, but you watch it on video all kind of, she said, yeah, but on video, I know you're okay. But she said, just in case something happens. But this time she finally watched. I guess she she knew that James Penny was a praying man and he was praying he was going to hit it. But anyway, and, and so he broke when he broke those bricks while me laying on the nails, I jumped up to speak. And of course, everybody was like, hey, anything you say, man. <laughs> right. And so I like to tell people, if you're not a good speaker or preacher, just learn how to break stuff real good. And you can get people's attention. But seriously, though, just so you know, it's Dr. Breakthrough. I always have to give a disclaimer. I can't provide a breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. However, when people follow my breakthrough prescription, God Almighty provides the breakthrough they desire and deserve. And what's a breakthrough? That's a great question. It's exploding through barriers that at one time seemed insurmountable. And just so you know, I didn't give my, myself the name Dr. Breakthrough. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you want to know the honest truth, and uh, that is when I was given the name Dr. Breakthrough, I felt like Dr. Breakdown. <laughs> Willie Jolly and I were speaking about 26 years ago at Howard University. And he said to me, he said, Dr. Stan, he said, I know you got a doctorate in divinity and, you know, you got a PhD in martial arts and you're a few credits away from doctor of naturopath. By the way, naturopath is all about helping the body get in what we call homeostasis or proper balance so the body can do what God designed it to do, right? And, uh, and that is to heal itself. But anyway, he said, so, so he said, but, but branding's everything. He said, man, you, you, you need to brand yourself. He said, Dr. Stan's okay, but you, you need something that pops. And he said, you know, when I watch you speak to audiences, you explain breakthrough better than anybody I know. And he said, when you write on those boards and bricks and things like fear and procrastination and doubt, and you break through those things, showing people that although things are hard, within a focus and, uh, and, 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 and so forth, we can break through those. He said, so to me, you're like a, a person that goes to the doctor when they have a problem and the doctor writes out a prescription and then they go well, follow the prescription and they get better. So they said, he said, you, you should be called Dr. Breakthrough. He said, yeah, because you're the guy when people, when people need a breakthrough, you're the guy with a prescription. I looked at him. I said, man, I appreciate your kind words. Thank you very much. I don't think it's true, but. How many y'all know but cancels out what goes before, right? I said, I'm not sure that's necessarily true, but I promise to live the rest of my life to make sure it is true. And folks, right there is a breakthrough lesson for you right there, because here's what happens. Sometimes, see, we have blind spots. Now, it's the sad thing is we have blind spots sometimes with our bad faults and also blind spots with our potential. That's why I love my wife. By the way, uh, I married a woman that's total opposite of me, right? So I talk all the time. She listens all the time. And by the time I'm done talking and get tired, she finally starts talking, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm the guy, man, I just, I just, my wife can make a penny holler. Me, I'm like, let's buy one of those and those and two of those and three of those. And you know what I mean? So, so I'm super uh, public. She's super private, right? Like, 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 I mean, you put up a camera, I'm jumping in front of it. Yeah. And she's running. Now she looks like a movie star, but she's hiding. I'm like, what are you doing? Right. And then every picture before I put up, she's like, no, wait, I got to check it out. Make sure. I was like, baby, you look like a walking movie star. What are you talking about? Oh no, I gotta make sure I gotta, you know what I mean? So here, write this down. This is a, a whole nother breakthrough principle. But I'm gonna get to breakthrough preneur in a minute. 
but 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 we have what I call breakthrough love, and we're going to be doing a breakthrough love challenge soon. And breakthrough love is is two imperfect people perfectly committed to break through any barrier that would try to hinder their relationship. Ooh, 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 that's good. I think I'm gonna attend my own breakthrough challenge, breakthrough love challenge. But anyway, all right, so so here we go, breakthrough preneur. Um, and, and, and again, just so, <laughs> just so y'all know, I'm usually pretty crunk, but today I'm extra excited because again, 15 years ago, oh my goodness, I got the greatest gift from God. The greatest gift from God. I, I, I can't tell you enough the breakthroughs that God has allowed me to experience through her. But 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 I started saying we have blind spots. And you know, when we first got married, those those uh, never physical fighting, but fighting with words, we kind of fought face to face, and then we learned to fight side by side, and now we learn to fight back to back. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. So 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 but here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. When we got from the time we got married, um, she called me her king. And I was like, oh, no, I appreciate it. But no, nah, no. Nah. And she said, no, no. She kept calling me her king. Now, I'm, get, I'm getting this somewhere because I'm going to teach about being a breakthrough preneur. Part of being a breakthrough preneur is you got to learn to view yourself the proper way. And she's like, no, baby, you're my king. And I'm like, I, you know, because we're taught to kind of be, you know, be humble, whatever. I'm like, that's a kind of a strong, you know. And she said, no, no, no. And she would call me her king. Matter of fact, when you see her phone, when I call, it says my king. And she kept calling me her king until one day, Queen Noor, one day I started calling her my queen. And it dawned on me. She's like, if this brother don't know all the way who he is, I know who I am. <laughs> and I will keep calling him until he finally, and oh my goodness, you talking about a transformation. So let me go back. Let me go back to that day when Willie Jolly, and I never told him this story. And I didn't start telling it publicly until the last couple of times. I'm going to share it with you all if it's okay. Is, is it okay if I just get real bare and open with you all? Because I want you to understand I needed more breakthroughs. Before I'm going to give you this, this principle here in a minute, but I want you to understand that I'm not teaching you something that I heard. I'm not teaching you something that, that I read in a, in a book somewhere. I'm, not, I'm teaching you what transformed my life. And I don't mean this in a bad way, but, but, but I used to didn't like myself and I used to didn't like my speaking. And then one day it dawned on me, if God called me and God loves me, why shouldn't I love myself? And why wouldn't I like my own speaking? And then when I started liking my speaking, people started liking my speaking. Then all my children came to me at one time and said, you're my favorite speaker. And then my wife came and said, you're my favorite speaker. But what they didn't know is I started saying to myself, I'm one of my favorite speakers. So I showed up today because I heard one of my favorite speakers was speaking and I had the hearing, okay? You're close, Michael, but I met me, okay? <laughs> yeah, James, you're close too, but I met <laughs> So anyway, but here's what I want you to understand. Here's what I want you to understand. And that's going to be one of the breakthrough principles because as long as I was looking at myself as broken down because my message is simple, I was a mess that God and I made into a master. And now, my friend, I went from being a mess to being a master, and now I'm committed to sharing with anybody how God can do the same and a whole lot more for anybody. So I was a nobody. God and I turned into a somebody. I'm committed to telling everybody he could do the same, if not more, for anybody. And that's why I love teaching these breakthrough principles. Now, do I have you hungry enough to want to hear this? So here it goes. So I was in, I had this business venture and back then I only had one income stream. That's why I will never have just one income stream ever again. But I messed up and messed up big time, messed up bad, lost everything. I mean, everything. I used to travel, by the way, 320 days a year is living off like three and a half hours sleep a night. I was, I, you know, I heard black men were lazy and preachers are lazy. I'm like, man, I'm black and I'm a preacher. So I got to double, I got to prove I'm not lazy, right? And to some degree, we're just trying to prove something. You're not really hearing the voice of God. So I was over running myself 320 days a year, no vacations. I was like, man, when I get older, I can take a vacation, right? And uh, and I collapsed and lost. I mean, when I won't tell you I lost it, I lost everything. And I end up being homeless. Now, it's one thing when you're homeless. And thank God somebody had a little trailer and let me stay in. But I was not just homeless. I was carless. Because, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're homeless, you got a car, you can live in the car, right? Uh, but I, I was homeless and carless. Oh, wait a minute. And then, then I was phoneless. 
Now, phones mean a whole lot more today than back then, but still phones. So think of, imagine this now. I'm, I'm homeless, I'm phoneless, and I'm carless. And I tell somebody there's this event. They, I, if I get there, I'll get paid. Can I borrow your vehicle, please? I just, I'm just, right? And I didn't tell them my situation. I was just like, hey, look, some situations. And that's another thing, by the way, when you're going through problems, don't curse, ooh, write this down. Don't, this is what I call Dr. Breakthroughism, AKA writer downer. Don't curse it, don't nurse it, don't rehearse it, but give it to God and let him reverse it. Ooh, let me say that again. I said, when you're going through the storm, by the way, storm, S-T-O-R-M, something that only remains momentarily, don't curse it, don't nurse it, don't rehearse it, don't go around trying to find, no, 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 give it to God and let him reverse it. And so during this time, I'm, I'm broke, busted, and disgusted, but I'm walking around saying, I'm a rich, now listen to this, I'm a rich man that happens to be low on cash, but my God and I, we are changing that fast. <laughs> I'm a rich man that happens to be low on cash, but my God and I, we are changing that fast. See, some people talk about I'm waiting on God. No, honey, he waiting on you because he said he'll bless the work of your hands. So if your hand's not doing anything, he can't bless it. <laughs> But I'm telling you, can you can you imagine this? Ephraim, Matt, can you imagine this? Some guy calling me, you should be called Dr. Breakthrough. You got the prescription what people need a breakthrough. I didn't have a car. I didn't have a phone. I didn't, I was homeless. And somebody let me use their car to get to this event, my friend, so I could speak and get paid. And, and he's calling me Dr. Breakthrough, talking about you, you got the prescription. For breakthrough. So instead of me, it's like, well, no, you don't understand right now. I don't even No, He don't need, he didn't need to know my situation. Like I said, I never even told him this story to this day. But again, I went home and I said, okay, God, you got a sense of humor, but I know I'm going to be back on top. I know that. So watch this. And so from that moment, literally five, uh, excuse me, five days later, I, uh, 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 th 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 this little trailer, the guy put a little phone in there I could use. And I called this guy. He said, man, I've been trying to get a hold of you. He said, man, he said, There's something wrong with your phone. I said, don't worry about that. He said, well, this company wants you to speak. I said, I'll take it. He said, but I, I, I'm, I'm available right now. Just <laughs> He said, but but I didn't even tell you that. I said, I don't, no, I don't care. Whatever they pay, I'll take it, whatever. And I said, I'm available right now. And he said, well, and I was in Pennsylvania at the time. He said, was out in Dallas. I said, yeah, I, they can fly me out there. They can put me where, and uh, I, said, I can be as long as they need me. Make a long story short, they fly me out there, they pay me to speak, you know, they pay me $500 a gig and they sit from place to place. And the guy was doing a network marketing company. He put a spot in for me. He said, Doc, I know you don't build network marketing companies anymore. You're just a trainer or speaker. He said, but I put a spot in. When you speak, if somebody wants to find out about this, just send them to me. And, and so I did that, right? People come hear me. I say, hey, just talk to this. Cause they, hey, Doc, are you in this? I talked to this guy, Dave. Well, those checks started getting as big as the other checks. And so make a long story short, I said, Dave, what I got to do to get bigger checks? Five, write this down now, five and a half months later, five and a half months later, I was making $25,000 per month, um, excuse me, per week. That's 100,000 a month. Wait, 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 no, no, you got to listen to me now. I went from being homeless, phoneless, carless, to literally five and a half months later, making $100,000 a month. And at that point, I'd never made $100,000 in a month before. So I went from literally being Dr. Breakdown, broken down to getting a breakthrough. And this is the principle you got to learn. Your over undeniable, undeniable breakthrough usually comes after you have an overwhelming breakdown. But see, you can't stay down. You got to get back up. And so real quick, here's the principle. And uh, you're going to love this. Is this blessing anybody so far? Because I'm blessed already. And I, man, this is good. <laughs> and I already know what I'm talking about. So here it is. Write it down quick. Breakthroughpreneur concepts and principles. So a breakthroughpreneur, by the way, every successful entrepreneur is a breakthroughpreneur. They just never heard the term. But it's one who's so focused on providing a valuable product, service, or system, which, by the way, solves a problem, to people for profit with pleasure that they commit. I didn't say try, they commit to breaking through any barrier that's inner barrier or outer barrier, I'll break this down later, that would hinder their success. So breakthroughpreneurs, 
we follow, we find, we figure out, we force our belief to be favored by God with the way. Oh, good God Almighty. That's good right there. Watch this. See, you, you, you want to be a, see, if you want to just go from being an entrepreneur, struggling entrepreneur to becoming a breakthroughpreneur, I just gave you my story. I broke through and I became, and listen, they called me Dr. Breakthrough when I was broken down, but guess what? God knew what he was doing. He was like, yeah, you might be broken down now, but if you just continue and you, you'll be Dr. Breakthrough. And that's what I did. I walked, I'm just, I'm a, I'm, I'm a rich man, happens to be low on cash, but God and I are changing that fast. See, I started speaking at first. I accepted the compliment. By the way, can you start right there? Stop. When people compliment you, stop saying, oh, no, 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 no. Learn to accept it graciously. Say, thank you. Now, one of the things I do that can that really can help is I give it back on them. So, right? So somebody says, man, I love your speaking. You're a great speaker. I, you really helped me out a lot. I, thank you very much. I appreciate those kind words. And by the way, if you can spot it, it's because you got it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Accept the compliment graciously. And then give them some, right? People say, man, well, lady, I was speaking. She's like, man, you are about the greatest speaker I ever heard in my life. I was like, man, you a great judge. I said, and we laugh. I said, but seriously, though, thank you very much. And I said, but again, if you can spot it, it's because you got it. So you you got to have greatness in you to recognize greatness in me. So so come on, I can't wait to hear you speak. And 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 maybe you're just you're just growing and you haven't gotten to that full level yet. But but you understand what I'm saying you got to learn to accept these compliments. If I'd have turned down Willie Jolly and said, no, you don't understand, I'm homeless, I'm phoneless, I'm carless, I probably still would have been there, my friend. But because I said, okay, thank you, I appreciate that. I'm not sure it's true, but I promise to live the rest of my life to make sure it is. And that started my journey, my friend. I said, again, so to be a breakthroughpreneur, an entrepreneur is okay, but to be a breakthroughpreneur, you got to be so focused on providing a valuable product, service, or system. How many of you got a valuable product, service, or system? Raise your hand or put in the chat, I do. Come on now, come on. How many of you? Come on, Michael, you can unmute and talk to him for me if you don't mind. Who out there has a valuable product, service or system, right? You got, you got Bailon, Chris, Chris Krep, Papias, Alex Dumas. Or awesome. Dumas. Uh, so the, so Nur Jahan, BJ, Carla, Carly's got her hand up, Amina, Diane, Toby, Sheena, Andres, Matt. There you go. Okay. And more. So you're, so, so, so you're the right crowd I'm talking to. So watch, watch this now. Notice the first word of this breakthroughpreneur concept. You got to be focused. Write down the word focus, F-O-C-U-S, firmly on course until successful. I didn't say firmly on course until stressful. Come on, somebody. I said firmly on course until successful. See, the difference between an entrepreneur versus a breakthroughpreneur, an entrepreneur is just somebody in business. A breakthroughpreneur is somebody so committed. They're so focused. Watch this now on providing a valuable product or service or software to people. I mean, they're focused firmly on course until successful. Here's, here's what some entrepreneurs do. They are, get this now, Toby, they are firmly on course until stressful. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be this hard. I didn't know I was going to have to go through all this. I, I'm not sure this is what I want. Well, you See, that's what entrepreneurs do. But breakthroughpreneurs, oh, no, 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 this is something else I'm about to break through because I'm focused. Hey, write this word down. Again, focus. Here's another acronym. Fixated on creating ultimate success. Oh, come on, somebody. Entrepreneurs fail, my friend, but breakthroughpreneurs, we say, listen, it, it, listen, 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 I'm down now, but you ain't seen nothing because I'm on the way back up because I am fixated on creating ultimate success. Watch this. I'm so fixated on creating ultimate success. This ain't even failure to me. <laughs> this, this just a little stopping point for a while, but no, 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 because why? I'm focused on where I'm going to. I was talking to somebody, I think Nola. Thank you, by the way, Nola Johnson, powerful woman. Oh my goodness, she does some incredible things in, um, uh, on bullying and so forth. But, but we were talking the other day and I was like, here's the reason, write this down, folks. Here's the reason why most people never have a breakthrough because they focus too much on what they want to break through. See, what you focus on the longest becomes the strongest. So when you say I'm entrepreneur, it's like, I'm not getting enough customers. I'm not getting enough clients. I'm not producing enough money. Well, when you focus on that, it gets bigger. And it, get, it becomes, it takes a, 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 a molehill and turns it into a mountain, right? So here's what breakthroughpreneurs do. We don't focus on what we're going through. 
We're focused on what we're breaking to. Oh, come on, somebody. See, we're, we're focused on getting that dream home. We're focused, get this now, on providing that what we have to people to the point where now we have our own time where we can do what we want, when we want, with whom we want, for as long as we want. I'm saying, listen, you got to be focused on what you're breaking to, and you automatically break through something. So when I stack up my boards of bricks, by the way, check this out. I don't aim to break the bricks. When I try to break the bricks, sometimes the last one doesn't break. But when I focus on getting my hand three inches below the bricks, come on, somebody, they always break. As a matter of fact, I'm so focused when I'm breaking bricks. The guy said, man, man, I said, I said, are you, are you think you, they're going to break? I'm like, no, I'm just concerned I don't go too far and hit the ground. I, they go and break. Don't worry. See, I'm focused, right? And by the way, here's another principle. I never break a board or brick until I've already broken it in my mind. Oh, come on, somebody. See, breakthroughpreneurs, we understand something. A building, and I talk about it in my book, one of my books, Your Breakthrough is Guaranteed. A building is built three times. Number one, it's in the brain. Number two, it's on paper. They call it a blueprint. And then number three, it's constructed so everybody else can see. It's kind of like Disney World when it was done. And they said, isn't it a shame that Walt Disney didn't live long enough to see it? His brother-in-law happened to be there and said, wait a minute, y'all got it all wrong. He said, Walt saw this a long time before anybody else saw it. You see what I'm saying? So a breakthrough says, you know what? I know it might be tough now, but I'm not focusing on the toughness. I'm focusing on where I'm going, see? And that's why Steve Jobs said it best. Watch, ooh, this is so good. Steve Jobs says, you better love what you do because if you don't love it, then when the hard times come, you'll never make it through. But if you love what you do, see, that's why on my anniversary, no, no, let me speak, baby. I, I got to speak. I love empowering people. I love it. And I know my style is over the top for some folk, and that's okay. I've been around, I heard too many speakers that's way under the bottom for me. I got to make up for some of them, but here's what I'm saying. But here's the beautiful thing, and y'all need to get this. When I speak, I'm, oh, okay, here you go. I don't mean no hard, but I ain't speaking to everybody. I'm only speaking to the ones that say, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I need. Watch this now. And when you speak to those people, guess what? They'll say to somebody else, oh, you need to hear Dr. Breaker. You need to hear. And all the other folks, hey, it's okay. I understand. You know, I got to suffer through some of these other people talking sometimes. <laughs> and so when I, let me do my thing. I can accept you the way you are. Why can't why you got a problem with me the way I am? Because you won't have the problem all by yourself because I'm having a good time. Come on, somebody. All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay, I apologize. Okay, here we go. So again, a breakthroughpreneur. Did you get that? One who's so focused. Get this now. Focused, fixated on creating ultimate success. On providing a valuable product, service, or system which solves a problem. If what you have, you got to figure it out from this problem-solving capabilities. The number one thing that people buy, regardless of what color, what continent, what class, high class, middle class, low class, no class, they always buy one thing, and that is what they perceive to be a solution to their problem. So guess what? You got to get good at showing people how what you have, how what you represent, how it solves a problem. People used to say the favorite radio station should be for everybody. It's W-I-I-F-M. You know, uh, what's in it for me? As a marketer, as a breakthroughpreneur, our favorite radio station is W-I-I-F-T. What's in it for them? Hello, somebody. See, I got to speak to you based on what's in it for you. Hello, somebody. And every last one of you, 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 wanna, you, you, you wanna go to another level. Every last one of you, you like to be able to build a team like I have in the past of 1.5 million people in a six and a half year span. And with, by the way, that company, we had $22,000 days. Oh Lord Jesus, come on now. But, but I'm saying, but I'm the guy that never thought I could do any of this stuff. That's the real that's the real thing. So I had to learn to get involved in personal development and growth and learn to view, change the view of myself. And if God could love me, if God could call me, I mean, why am I so bad on myself, right? And so watch this now. So, but if you get so focused instead of focusing on yourself, if you get so focused on what you have and how what you have can help other people, you will always be successful. So again, one who's so focused on providing a valuable product, service system, which solves a problem, Get this now, two people for profit. Now watch this. <laughs> if you're doing what you're doing and you're not making a profit, I don't mean any harm, you're a missionary. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong being a missionary. I'm, a, I'm an evangelist. I'm not a, a pastor stays in one place. Evangelists, we blow in, blow up, and blow out. <laughs> but anyway, but we, I just travel all over. So we've been blessed to preach in all 50 states and 20 countries. But here's what I'm saying, though. You, you, you got you to, gotta, if, you, if, you, if you don't have profit, by the way, God never started anything 
that was nonprofit. The first command of the Bible, Genesis 128, he blessed them. The word blessed means empowered to prosper. So before he gives you a command to do something, he's already going to give you the capacity to do it. You just got to tap into it. That's why I love this thing called the great discovery. We're going to help people discover the, the breakthrough principles that's already inside of you. Matter of fact, you don't even know it. Your very DNA contains breakthrough. Your first breakthrough was when you beat over 40 million sperm cells to the womb. You beat them all. You came in first place. Your second major breakthrough was when you came through the birth canal, my friend. So you don't even understand it, but you are a breakthrough master. You started out life breaking through, my friend. So don't be dummy down to believing you can't do it anymore. No, my friend, understand this, a breakthroughpreneur. You got to learn to provide this valuable product or service to people, but there's got to be some profit. And again, I kept, I kept, well, well, I just want to help people. I just want to minister to people. Well, guess what? It's okay to get ministered back to. Hello, somebody. So now I always say, God, thank you um, that you're providing valuable products and service through me to people for profit with pleasure to promote the kingdom. And in this case, as a breakthroughpreneur, uh, as I empower others to get breakthroughs, I get blessed to have financial breakthroughs as well. You see how that works? Because again, no, nothing wrong with being a missionary, but a missionary needs help. And so many people think they're in business, but they need help. Well, if you need help and you need somebody to support you, you're not a profitable business. It's like a missionary. That's the first M. Now, the second M is this. Uh, break into in, any barrier. Uh, let me see. Wait a minute. Let me back up. Michael, am I over time already? Oh, my goodness. I I, I got so excited. I forgot. What time? What I got? You got about five, eight minutes okay. left. Okay, okay. I apologize, man. Let's get so excited. Okay, so so again, a valuable product or service um, to people um, for profit. So if there's no profit, the first M, you're a missionary. Number two, the second M, if you don't have pleasure, the second M, you're miserable. And nobody's going to last being miserable, <laughs> right? So you've got to find something that you, and something that solves a problem, but something else that you enjoy Right now, again, you may not enjoy the beginning stages because in the beginning, everything is rough and it's hard. Right. But and by the way, write this down. Everything in life gets easier a long, long time after it's hard. We just got to get you to get through the hard part. See, breakthroughpreneurs, we understand that. So I'd say I'm going to break through this hard part till I get to the easier part. See, when I used to sp start speaking years ago, oh, my goodness, it's been 50 years. Uh, it was hard. Guess what? It's easy now. I do it in my sleep, right? I mean, it's it's a piece of cake now, right? I used to like, how do those guys do all that without even notes, right? And now notes, I don't need notes. I just, but I'm, but you need them. So I, I put it here for you, but I can do this without anything in front of me. Are y'all with me? But I had to learn to break through the uneasy feeling. See, write this down. You got to be, ooh, ooh, ooh. You got to be committed to the process of being bad or feeling bad for as long as it takes to get good. See, see, you got to be committed to the process. I said it's a process of being bad or feeling bad for as long as it takes to get good. See, if you do that, you can get good in anything. I was terrible in speaking. I've been voting to the Motivational Speakers Hall of Fame now. I was terrible in the martial arts when I first started. I tripped on my own feet. They called me Mr. Baboon. Now I'm one of 200 10th degree black belts in the world. And as James said, I'm the only 10th degree black belt who also built a team of 1.5 million and who's been paid as much as $1,000 a minute to speak. When I first started speaking, I hated my own speaking, right? The I would practice in the backyard and the trees would bound, the squirrels would run. And now, now, can you imagine being paid? Like, I mean, sharing the platform with people like Les Brown and Jim Rohn and all, the I mean, it's just crazy. But you got to be a breakthroughpreneur. You got, you know what? I'm so focused on breaking to something. I'm going to break through anything to get to my path. So I'm not going to be a missionary. I'm going to, I'm going to get some profit. Number two, I'm not going to be miserable. Number three, watch this. So you so focus on providing a valuable product service to people for profit with pleasure. Now, eventually you'll be a millionaire. <laughs> the greatest book I've written, Proverbs 28, 20 says, a faithful man shall abound with blessing. The word man is mankind. Show me somebody just consistent and just stays and just keeps on keeping on. I mean, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, and the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. If care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is strange with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. Many a struggler turns about. They might have had one if they stuck it out. Don't give up, though. The pace seems slow. You 
Get this now. You, Mike. Hey, you, Michael. Hey, you, Renee. Hey, you, Jennifer, may succeed with another blow. Success is failure. Turn inside out. The silver tint of the cloud of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. Victory may be near, BJ, though it seems afar. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. is when things seem worse, Steve, that you just mustn't quit. But a break to Panor, you got that mentality, that attitude, I'm breaking through. So again, if you think you are beaten, you are. And if you think you dare not, you won't. If you'd like to win but think you can, it's almost a sense you won't. If you think you will lose, you've already lost. For this powerful truth we find, success begins with a person's will. It's all a state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger woman or man. But sooner or later, those who win are those who first think and then know that they can. And as a breakthroughpreneur, we know we can and we will. See, here's our favorite word. And I close with this. It just didn't happen yet. Y-E-T. <laughs> the breakthrough didn't happen yet, but it will. And in closing, I want y'all to have a ball breakthrough. They have these little super balls. I couldn't find one. So I just found a regular ball. But the Super Bowl is so bouncy. And here's what happens with a breakthroughpreneur. As every time life throws you down, we bounce right back. <laughs> the harder life throws us down, the higher we bounce back. You throw, come on, come on. Hard times, sickness, just throw me down. Life, I'm coming back. But guess what? I'm coming back bigger. I'm coming back better. And all of a sudden, my light begins to shine. Come on, somebody. So I challenge every last one of you on here. Have you a Super Bowl breakthrough? Matter of fact, have you a bumblebee breakthrough? You say bumblebee breakthrough? Yeah, the bumblebee aerodynamically, it's impossible for him to fly. But because he or she doesn't believe that. See, aerodynamically, the wings are too small and the body's too big. But because they don't know or believe that, they just fly anyway. So come on, my friend, build that business. I don't care what gets in your way. Say, you know what? I'm going over it. I'm going around it. I'm going under it. But I'm going to learn from Dr. Breakthrough and break through it. And that's why I put together my 21-day breakthrough challenge to take you by the hand and walk you into the breakthrough promised land so that you can go from breakthrough to breakthrough to bigger breakthrough to better breakthrough to bolder breakthrough. How many of you are ready to break through? Unmute your mic and say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm committed. And I turn it back to Michael Whitehouse. Woo!